Well, welcome to our next Discover Lounge episode lesson thing. Anyway, welcome. I'm glad that you're part of us today. Last week we talked about uh, one part of our mission and ministry, and that is meaningful worship. Today, our next lesson about what our ministry and mission is all about is conversational discipleship. What and what does that mean? And what is it, where are we going with this? I'll fill you in right after this. back to our next episode on conversational discipleship here in Discover Lounge. So, conversational discipleship, what is it? Well, it's quite frankly, it's the opportunity to converse and to le listen and to hear what God has to say. So let's take a quick look here. Conversational discipleship. Now, I apologize again for the graininess of the photograph, but that's a, a clip from a movie and it is Jesus and the two disciples walking alongside each other down the road to Emmaus on the day of the first Easter celebration, conversing, talking with one another, sharing all that Jesus had to teach them and the like. So conversational discipleship, what is it? First of all, it is people gathered around the word of God. Okay, we gather, have a nice gathering together, where two or more gathered in my name, there I am in the midst of them. So, gathered around the Word of God. It's also people sharing and discussing the Word of God. Gathering around it is one thing. Discussing it and sharing about it is the additional layer. And, and, and another additional layer is hearing the voice of God through the Word of God. So, faith comes by hearing. It's not just about reading. It's not thought about gathering around, but it's also about discussing and hearing the voice of God as he comes to us through his word. And because of all that, people's lives are changed because of the word of God. It's God's word that does its wonderful thing. So let's spend a little bit of a sidebar, deliberate this time, uh, to discuss the word of God. It is the Holy Bible. It is that wonderful book that God had caused to be written, a compilation of all the different writings, of all the different men, of all the different eras and ages and eons and the like. It is the Holy Spirit inspired men over the millennia to write down the truth of God. The famous line that's spoken of in the Old Testament specifically, thus saith the Lord. So the Holy Spirit inspires these men to write down. And since it was inspired by God, the Holy Spirit, this inspiration causes God's word to be without errors. There is no error in the framework of God's word. There is no error. Also, the word of God is God's tool to change people's lives. There was a figure of speech that I learned while I was at the seminary talking about the Word of God, is called the norma normata, the norm that changes lives, fundamentally, norm that changes people's lives. So, that's definition of number one, what is the Word of God? What are we conversing? What are we gathering around? Secondly, is about disciples and discipleship. Now, a disciple is a person who learns, grows, and puts into practice what he or she learned from their master. Well, we know who the master is. Master is God. And, and that's what a disciple is. A disciple is more than just a studier. The, the disciple is more than just a learner. A disciple is, takes what he or she learns and uses it, develops it, nurtures it, strengthens it, and all by means of the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, discipleship is the actions of being a disciple. So conversational discipleship means it's an action based around conversations you have with one another, all based and founded upon this wonderful word of God that he has given us. Why is this 
important. Well, this is bolded for a reason. Jesus commissioned the church to make disciples. The, I put church in quotation marks because at that moment in time it was only 11 men. Jesus gathers them together. And he, he said, I meet, want, to meet you, want you to meet with me on this mountainside. And he says, wherever you are going. Now, now this is my translation in, as I see the words of the original language. Wherever you are going, make disciples of all nations by means of baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to observe or obey everything that I have taught you. And lo, I am with you always until the very end of the age. So Jesus is teaching us to observe, to obey. That's what a disciple does. A disciple follows. A disciple follows the will of the master, as I said on one of the previous slides. A disciple puts this stuff he or she has learned into their day-to-day -day lives as a believer, as a worshiper of God, as a servant of God, etc. So this is all about not just studying for the sake of studying, it is studying for the sake of serving, moving, doing something about what I have learned. Now, what conversational discipleship looks like? Well, in our case, here at Faith, we offer multiple opportunities to gather around God's Word. And each opportunity is for, for all of you. So on Monday mornings, every Monday morning at 8.15, at the Starbucks right there at the corner of 45 and 30, uh, there's a small group that gathers there to study God's Word and try to help us learn to put that into practice. Right now, we are in the second half of the book of Exodus. We started in Genesis. We're moving forward. That's on Monday. So you're more than welcome to join us on Monday. Can't join us uh, at that time? That's fine. We have multiple other opportunities. For example, the men's group, gentlemen, you can join us in the fellowship hall at 7 a.m. We are now beginning this, this next Tuesday after this video. We are going to be starting 2 Peter. We just finished up 1 Peter's letter. Peter's first letter we're now taking on. The second one. Ladies, if you have time, uh, during your lunch hour, we have a women's group just for you in the fellowship hall beginning at noon on Tuesday. Denise, I'm going to put a plug out there for Denise Figline. Denise is a phenomenal teacher from what I've heard from all the ladies that are gathered. So join the ladies for that. Uh, they're working on a book right now called, and he took the... He bore the cross or something like that, a Max Lucado book of forgive me for not knowing the title right there. Wednesdays, uh, bring your own bag and Bible. It's a kind of a dinner study. Uh, that's it starting at 5.30 Wednesday evenings. That's for both uh, all families. Um, when we are not having Lenten soup suppers and services or Advent, when we're not having those, then BYOB and B uh, kicks in. And then, so, and then the lastly, on Sunday, we have children's groups in the elementary building starting at 9.15. We also have adult groups that are in the fellowship hall at 9.15. These are the ones that we currently have right now. You are, you are invited to participate in one or all of those opportunities of conversation around God's Word, conversational discipleship, conversation of life, and if you would like to offer, dot, 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 meaning if you would like to consider uh, being a host for a, a study, maybe at your home, if you would be willing to lead a study, uh, you've got, uh, you've studied the book of Jeremiah, just I'm using as an example, and you really love what God is saying to us through Jeremiah, and you would like other people to know that. Well, You've got a great opportunity to step forward and say, "Hey, I love to I love to bring people through the Book of Jeremiah. Uh, please join me. We've got we've got room on Sunday mornings for that to happen, 
or if you want to do it in the framework of your house or another location, that's great too. Wherever we are going, we, we are making disciples, so we're not locked into a specific location. So, but if you'd like to offer, if you've got something in your life that you would like to share with the rest of the body of Christ so that they will be built up and be a part of this wonderful thing we call Christianity and discipleship and life with God, then please, we'd love to have you be a part of that. So that's where we're at right now. This is a kind of a short introduction to our conversational discipleship. If you have any questions about classes, conversations, opportunities, please let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to talk to you more about this. All right, so next week, next week we'll be talking about our third branch of our mission and ministry here at Faith, Outreach and Service. The opportunity of getting people into the Word of God that aren't a part of the body of Christ at this moment in time. So it's a great, exciting opportunity for you to be in ministry in that area as well. All right. I'd love to talk more about you, but I think that's going to be it for today. Thank you very much for your attention. We will get back to you. See you soon. See you on Sunday. And we'll see you in Bible study at 915. We'll see you in children's ministry at 915. We'll see you in worship service at 1030. Have a great evening.